Hey, it's Elizabeth from eatingforme.com. I know I promised you a chicken recipe a couple of days ago, and I apologize it's taken me so long to get it to you. I was a bit under the weather for a couple of days, but now I'm back in action. So chicken, we know, is one of the healthier options that we can choose when it comes to meat than cooking. Um, but not if you like chicken the way I do. I tend to gravitate towards fried chicken or chicken smothered in bacon and cheese. I don't really like the taste of chicken. I just like the taste of things that I coat it with or cover it with. So this week we tried a different chicken recipe, a much healthier version based on Stacy's recommendations. So we started with boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We put a little bit of olive oil in a pan and heated it up and put some teriyaki sauce in that olive oil too and let that all heat up together. And whenever I went shopping, I found that there is teriyaki sauce that says less sodium. I don't know if there's a low sodium teriyaki sauce. I don't know if that's an option because I know teriyaki sauce does have a good bit of sodium to begin with, but um, I did find a less sodium option. So that's what we used. So after the oil, we just put a little bit in there. Once that oil got hot, I cut the chicken breast into pieces, bite-sized pieces, and put it in the skillet and let it cook for a little while. After the, it was done on both sides, but still had to cook a little bit in the middle, I threw in a bunch of vegetables, and I cut these up beforehand. Um, we had sliced zucchini, we had asparagus, broccoli, carrots, onions, mushrooms, um, I think that was it. And it, basically any vegetable I could find that would kind of go with a stir fry meal. And I cut those up earlier in the day so that it didn't take a whole lot of time whenever I was actually preparing dinner. I know that's one of the busiest times in my house and probably yours too. So it doesn't hurt if you cut up those vegetables in advance. So anyways, once that chicken was done on the outsides but not the insides, I threw those vegetables in and put a lid on the skillet and let it all kind of simmer. Um, until that chicken was finished. Then we topped it off with a little bit more teriyaki sauce and served it with some brown rice. And it was delicious. And it was a much healthier way to fix chicken. And we got in so many vegetables that night, way more vegetables than we would normally eat in one sitting. But the meal itself was great. So I highly recommend you try this one too. This was another great one. Um, we have a few more coming up that I've already got stocked for in my kitchen and I'm excited to try and tell you about, including we're gonna try some pizza and we're gonna try a Mexican chicken dish coming up soon too. So you'll wanna stay tuned for those. And if you like this chicken recipe, please share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. We want to get the word out. We want more people to join this movement and healthify their lives with us this year. So, and I also wanna remind you that this is not a one way talk. This is not me talking at you. This is a conversation. We want to hear from you. So don't be afraid to post in the comments below these videos and tell us what you think. Tell us how you're doing, what kind of meals you've healthified, what you're struggling with. We want to know. We want to talk about it with you. So be sure to post a comment and share the video if you think that the recipe sounds delish. I promise it is. So until next time, cheers.